Well, hello, it's Wednesday, so it must be time for Woolly Hats Wednesday Whips. Uh, today, you join me in the kitchen because in the champagne room, it's all clear because we're doing some decoration. So we're in the kitchen and the kitchen smells rather yummy because I'm making our Christmas cake and it's out in about a quarter of an hour. So I can't be too long doing this, you'll be pleased to hear. Anyway, so this week I thought I'd wear this jumper. A uh, great thing about the weather getting colder is that you can bring out all those lovely knits that you've made and uh, show them off. And this one is a Rowan pattern and it came from their very first magazine. And it's uh, got Kay Facet patterns in and I think Annabelle Fox and Erica Knight. Um, this one's an Annabelle Fox one. There's the pattern there. So you can see I've got Intarsia shields here but on the back it's all stranded knitting or fair art technique um, and uh, it's a rather nice jumper it's quite long so it keeps the bottom warm and the uh, it like a lot of jumpers I made then although it's a Rowan pattern I, it was in the 80s and I couldn't afford the Rowan wool so I used other wool and this wool is actually uh, quite expensive actually it's a Jaeger yarn which I bought and I made a, an Aran or cable jumper, but it was a bit boxy, so I didn't like it. So I undid it all. And then this is mohair. And I bought it to make a jumper and realized that actually there's no point making a jump shop with texture in mohair because you just lose all the definition. So I used it in um, the uh, the jumper. So that's that. This, this magazine, which is their very first one, I made so many things from here. Uh, it's got some really good uh, patterns. Um, and some very nice pictures and uh, some nice woolly things there which are good and he's also, Kay, as I said, Kay Fassett has uh, got some patterns in here if you don't know Kay Fassett, he does lots of very colourful patterns which look lovely but be warned they are quite difficult quite challenging so anyway so this is my jumper of the week let's see what's going to happen next week anyway so this week i've also finished off two projects which has been good the first one is this very cute gorgeous little cardigan with little sheep on and you can see i've got even got the buttons on as well so this is going to be a little christmas present for a special little girl and it's knitted in uh i think i showed it to you last week it's bow peep uh, West Yorkshire Spinners Luxury Baby Yarn and it is luxury, it's so soft. It's made with falconed yarn, which is nice and soft, but it's got lots of nylon in, so it's for mums and dads who do the washing, it's very washable. So that's good. So the other project I finished off today, actually, I was waiting, I, we'd uh, washed down the walls and waiting for things to dry. So I finished off the second of Mr W's Meandering Monk, um, socks da, da, da. i'll put them on the stretches there so it's a nice little cable pattern there um on one side and it is absolutely gorgeous yarn um for those who don't know the story last april mr w and i were going to go off and do some walking on st cuthbert's way which goes from melrose to um Lindisfarne. and uh, we wanted to go with some friends but of course uh, the pandemic put a sort to that so we didn't go but in the meantime i did see an advert for a company called Whistlebear in Northumberland who make their own yarn from their goats and their sheep. So this is a combination of mohair from their goats and um, I think it's Wednesday Dale wool. So it's lovely and soft. So these are for Mr W. So these are to keep his toties warm. And now that the weather's getting colder, I think he will really appreciate them. So two ticks. Um, I've got some more yarn waiting to come to me from Yarn O'Clock, uh, which is based in Mould, and I thought I'll support a small business, so I've ordered some more West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. I haven't got shares in the company, I just love the wool. And that will be for a little crochet project called Harriet's Jacket, so I had to do that one, didn't I? So that's, and I'm also doing other Christmassy things, getting in preparation for that, as well as decorating the conservatory, champagne room, as we call it and uh, a few other things as well so i have plenty to do over the next week or so i hope you are having a good week please share what you're working on this week and i will see you next week bye <laughs>